I'm, I hate to see a grown man cry, and I don't like to cry, but I haven't had much sleep, and I haven't cried a lot, and I don't know anything other than to do right now is to take my situation public and make this video and ask for the public's help, because I'm at ends meet, I'm, I'm at a dead end, I don't know what else to do. I'm going to tell you my story. My story is very long, but I'm going to try to put it into a 10-minute video so it can end up on TikTok as well. The short version of it is I have a large group of taxpayer-funded feminist females that work in multiple government agencies that are against me in a nasty divorce and custody case, including a female judge, um, that are a bunch of compulsive liars and hating feminists railroading me and my kids and yesterday in the Osceola County Kissimmee Courthouse a rogue uh, female judge named Holly Durenthal that was put onto my case when just when she was appointed a judge by Governor Ron DeSantis just two months ago railroaded me in court in an injunction case I had on behalf of my children because the mother has been physically, sexually abusing the children and neglecting the children for over a year now. And all these lying, compulsive lying feminist females in all these agencies from DCF to Help Now Shelter to Child Protection Team to many people have colluded with each other, making up all kinds of lies libel and slander about me, committed perjury, unsworn affidavits, punishable by a felony under penalty of perjury. Uh, they've removed my children with emergency orders, committed perjury in front of judges, libeling and slandering me. And I fired my lawyer um, several months ago, went pro se as my own lawyer, opened lawsuits against lawyers, uh, I, I don't even know where to begin. This is an absolute insanity mess. And you know what's sick about it is, it's all because my wife had me falsely arrested for domestic violence. She came in front of a jury trying to have me convicted and put in prison for two years. The, we picked a jury. We sat in front of the jury all day listening to her lies and her perjury. They impeached her as a witness for compulsively lying and admitting to committing perjury to even get an injunction that she fraudulently has against me. Uh, they impeached her as a witness. The jury went back and deliberated within 10 minutes a not guilty verdict unanimously across the board. Ever since then, all these women and all these government agencies have been told they're wrong and have egg on their face and have been at war with me and continue to libel and slander me, make up lies about me, interfere in my divorce and custody case and injunction cases it's just sickening it's really sickening um this current judge the last i've had two male judges and two female judges the first male judge was on my he turned to my side after he realized all the lies and perjury and all the stuff that was going on um judge diego madrigal the third um i can't say really anything bad about him other than he, he messed up in the beginning believing them, but he apologized in the courtroom when we got to a hearing set. He actually said when he apologized in the courtroom that he should have known better and he should have, because he knows he finds DCF to be a widely incredible, unorganized organization and that she, he shouldn't have believed their lies and their sworn affidavits and he shouldn't have knew they were lying. Um, they transferred him to another courthouse. Then I ended up with Christy uh, C. Collins, which is a far leftist Democrat, uh, African-American female feminist man-hater that ha was a, a, dom a, a domestic violence woman's advocate feminist attorney her whole career before she became a judge. She hates men. She got on my case. She railroaded me. And I filed JQC complaints with the Judicial Committee in Washington, D.C. I showed them to her in a motion to recuse, demanding she step down for bias uh, via the, I think it's the Sixth Amendment, right to a fair judge for a jury for a trial. Um, she stepped down. Then they put Judge Michael Schnoor on my case. Judge Schnoor was appointed in 1984. He's an old white guy. He was completely fair on bias. 
I was winning motions in front of him for, I don't know, six months, um, embarrassing the other side and all their female leftist lawyers, uh, feminist lawyers. And um, finally, uh, I get an emergency motion to remove custody in my divorce case. I, uh, he grants me an emergency hearing, sets it like three days out. Then I go file an injunction on behalf of my two younger children against the mother. He grants that. He grants me possession of my house that I've been evicted out of. And me and my full custody daughter haven't seen in over a year because of her fraudulent injunction. Um, he walks into the courtroom and two of the feminist, far leftist lawyers, man hater feminist lawyers that are funded by your tax money, Sarah Vance and Jennifer Watson, Jennifer Jane Watson are the IFP, Injunction for Protection of Attorneys. They work for Help Now organization. They're funded by your tax money. They railroad men on a daily basis are well in, in the Kissimmee Courthouse. They're very well connected within the system with DCF, CPT, the Child Protection Team, Help Now, all these organizations, the judges, the clerks to the courts, they are, all these women are in bed together. They all know each other. They've been working with each other for decades. They, they collude with each other fill DCF reports with false, fraudulent, uh, libel and slander reports and on and on. I, you don't even know the mess you're going to get to learn about this whole situation. Uh, they come into the courtroom, sit at the lawyer table. After I had ran them off the case, they, they, they didn't want to fight me anymore because I kept winning in front of Judge Snor. They filed motions to withdraw at that hearing, emergency hearing. They come in, they sit at the lawyer's table and they intimidate the judge to recuse himself. They bring a court reporter and they smile at him. And when he asks, well, why are you here? You filed a motion to withdraw. They say, oh, we're here as friends of the court, your honor. He recused himself and walked out. He didn't want to lose his job going up against a group of women. I just detailed in my motions what was going to happen, including all the people I had subpoenaed pro se as my own lawyer and the embarrassment I was going to cause DCF, help now, the Osceola County Sheriff's Office and the entire system and how I would be on by myself as a straight white male on one side of the courtroom and the other side of the courtroom would add 20, 30 female leftist Looney Tunes with Kool-Aid in their hair. And that's exactly what he's seen. He was intimidated. He walked out. He didn't want to lose his career and his job. So now they've put Holly Durenthal on my case that they've been working with as an attorney for decades in that courthouse that's completely biased against me, violating all my constitutional rights, railroaded me in court yesterday, accused me of coaching my children, and removed my two younger children from my custody and literally gave them to a drug addicted prostitute uh, adult movie actress that is a, a danger to the children, their mother, and well documented and put them in danger. She also removed them from the safe environment, not only with me, my fiance, my newborn, and my full custody 12 year old daughter, but the uh, very high end. Um, expensive charter school that I had just got them into that they've been going to for about two weeks now with their sister, the, uh, Holly Durenthal removed the children from the school and gave full custody to the mother. She ordered me into a psychiatric evaluation and then she uh, gave me a no contact order with my children other than supervised visitation on the weekends. This is absolutely insane. I need your help, folks. I need to get public funding for lawyers to sue individually each one of these people that work for these government agencies, these government agencies. I'm doing it all pro se. I'm, I've already filed lawsuits against Sarah Vance and Jennifer Watson. The two IFP attorneys filed personal civil lawsuits again for libel and slander, filling DCF reports with fraudulent libel and slander and false reports. I'm going to go after everybody legally. And I need the public's help. I'm going to start posting videos of my kids, their testimony, everything. You're going to see that I'm telling the truth. And these group of lying, compulsive, lying, feminist, man-hating females, you're going to see their corruption and how they need. Uh, my fight is not only to get this judge off my case, it's to get her dis barred. I do not want this woman to have power to do this to other children and other families. I only not only want to save my children, I want to save everybody else's children and I need your help.